Good morning, everyone. How is it going this morning? Got to get over here and make sure my YouTube is muted. Because it's not. I knew it wasn't. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone is doing well. Glad it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Got a few things to talk about. And you know what went down this week? The craziness. And good morning, Mo. How's it going this morning? Renee, Kathleen Newberry, good morning from Memphis, Tennessee. Piper John, good morning. How is it going? John, Cincinnati Picker, good morning. How's, I hope everything's doing well. I haven't talked to you in a while. I got to get the uh, fantasy baseball thing straightened out with you. I got to get that taken care of. L, good morning. Reseller Rockefeller, Mike, the Maniac Picker. I had someone the other day comment they didn't like me saying hello to everyone, but I'm going to do it. So, you know, you guys spend, you know, spend your time coming in here, spend your time with me. I'm going to acknowledge that, you know, so the bargain effect. Good morning, Gina Hawk. How's it going this morning? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll let the numbers creep up a little bit, but uh, yeah, um, it's been a Candice. Good morning. It's been an adventure this week. <laughs> it's been an adventure this week. I'll tell you, it's life, you know, it's just life. Oh boy. Um, as you all know, most of you know, on uh, let me see, it was uh, Kent. Good morning, bud. How you doing? Um, Monday afternoon, I did that live video in the parking lot. I was waiting on my wife in an appointment, and I was talking about uh, you know, the dregs of February, the bad sales, and how uh, good morning, Marie. Um, how I contacted eBay and they did an account reset. And I'm still using air quotes with that, even though I feel like I shouldn't because in everything, especially in science, there's cause and causation, you know, there is, you know, evidence of something. It happens, you know, uh, good morning, Anissa. So, you know, basically that, uh, I don't forget the date range, but it's been, it was in February. There was a, in a seven day period where I didn't sell anything for three days or something like nothing at all. So I caught contact eBay. They said, you know, I wouldn't take no for an answer. I showed them the numbers. They looked at the numbers and uh, they said they did an account reset in 15 minutes after they did this account reset. I'm not even using air quotes anymore because they did something and it affected something. 15 minutes after they did that account reset, I started making sales just instantly so so that was monday and uh you know everything was normal came home um good morning joe the family flips um so came home that monday after you know monday night ate dinner just like normal went to bed you know 9 30 10 o'clock just like normal and uh, about 2.30 in the morning, so it'd be Tuesday morning, 2.30 in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, I woke up and something was wrong. <laughs> oh, man. I barely made it to the bathroom, essentially. I'm not going to go into gory details, but uh, you can imagine. Barely made it to the bathroom. Um, so the rest of that night was exactly like that. You know, uh, and the next morning... Uh, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, I took my temperature and it was, you know, bumping 101, you know, so and I didn't know what it was, if it was flu or whatever, but it turns out it was, it was food poisoning, had food poisoning. Uh, so, and it could have been a couple of things, you know, my wife and I eat mostly the same stuff and she didn't get it. So, and I ate two things that she didn't. So it was, it was a couple of things. It could have been a couple of things, but, uh, I've had food, food poisoning before I had food poisoning about uh, 2000, 2001, and back then it was way worse than this time. This time is very mild, all things considered. So, uh, and still today I feel queasy, <laughs> not necessarily, you know, 
nauseated, but uh, I just feel uncomfortable. But uh, yeah, it was it was food poisoning. It wasn't flu. It wasn't anything like that. Uh, it was E. coli. So no, yeah. that's what it was. But it could have been worse, you know. Just like with anything, I look at the the bright side. It could have been way worse, you know. I had, the, I had that temperature. I ran that fever for you know. It was between a hundred and point one hundred point six, one hundred point nine for about twelve hours. And of course, I was taking medication and stuff. And the uh, that's the most miser- miserable part of the whole thing was the fever because you're. I'm sure everyone's experienced this, but when you sleep, and I am using air quotes on that, it's almost like a half wake, half sleep, delusional, constant dream delusion state. And it's not restful at all <laughs> when you have a fever like that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, of course, you know, oh, and, uh, so back to the Monday part, you know, I started making sales instantly after that Monday thing. And the sales continued. I made really good sales. And uh, by Tuesday morning, when I was sick as a dog, I had like seven things to package up and get out. And you have to get those packaged up and get them out or you take all those hits on your account. My wife was teleworking that Tuesday, but when she teleworks, it's not like she sits home on her butt. She has conference calls. She has to be on. She's doing stuff. You know, she can't be down here packaging up my stuff for eBay. Um, so I dragged myself out of bed Tuesday. Um, uh, to come down here and package up these seven items and seven items would usually take me 30 minutes. Let's just guess, you know, 30 minutes or so to, to pull them out of the, pull them out of the bins to package them up, you know, weigh them, print the labels out and everything. It took me two hours because literally I would pull something out of a bin and have to sit down. felt like I was going (laughs) to, so it took me, you know, two hours to package up seven items and uh when i finally got them all done and got them in my ikea bag you know i i'm a blue bag ikea person you know lonnie's made that famous but i've been using those for years and years and years um uh got them all in the blue bag and i set them on our front stoop and uh whoops (laughs) sorry about that and i went up to uh my wife was in her office she has no home office on our third level and I poke my head in and go, the packages are on the main stoop. If you can just keep a, you know, ear out for the mailman to make sure the mailman gets them. Cause I didn't know if it's going to be my regular Joe or a sub because the subs are notoriously bad for no- recognizing I have packages sitting out and stopping them. Joe would, but, uh, the subs, you know, are bad about it. But she looked at me and she goes, you need to go to bed. She's like, you look green. And I, <laughs> and I did. I looked in the mirror before I went back to bed in our hall bathroom. And I was like pale as a sheet green. It looked like I had bad seasickness, but it was food poisoning. So yeah, I went back to bed. So to package those items up was a her- Herculean effort, but that's part of reselling, you know, sick doesn't matter. <laughs> you got to get the job done, you know, everybody, you know, see Mr. Hobbs back here helping me out. Okay. So that was my story. So, uh, yeah. So that all day Tuesday and when spin bed, of course, and Wednesday morning, you know, uh, Wednesday morning I had the live show scheduled and I probably could have pulled it off, but, uh, my fever had just broken around that time and, uh, didn't get the feeling really normal until Wednesday afternoon. And actually Wednesday afternoon, I filmed the, uh, the, uh, what sold video. And I felt pretty relatively normal by then. And it's Friday now. And like I said, I'm about 90%. My stomach still feels uneasy, but pretty much back to normal. Yep. Where's it all? Here we got, an, we got another kitty. You want to make some appearance? Make some appearance. This boy, this is Hemi. He's a polydactyl. He's got six claws. You'll see his six claws. Say hi. He's our actual oldest cat. He is uh, about 12 or 13. He's a big boy. He's a Russian blue. He's 18 pounds. Big, big boy. But anyway. So yeah, that's the story of the sickness. Um, and, And I've I don't know. I was half delirious or what, but I was looked at, uh, my wife came and checked on me and I looked up there and I was like, it seems like ever since I've lost this weight, I've had bad luck with illnesses. <laughs> and it's true. Ever since I've lost like this, I've lost about 
50, 55 pounds now. And uh, ever since then, sorry, dog's getting into something they shouldn't. Go lay down. But ever since then, it seems like I get sick more often. But anyway, it's probably just a coincidence. Uh, let me see here. Hey, Monty, good morning. Uh, scrolling back up here. Oh, yeah, John's talking about scary how much control they have. Yeah, we're all at the mercy of uh, eBay for sure. For sure. And I don't know why or how, but something's going on, you know, with that. Candy says crackers and ginger beer. Yeah, I was at, trust me, I had the saltine crackers, of course, and I had ginger ale. I prefer ginger ale, but uh, yeah. Thanks, Gina. Yeah, reseller Rockefeller talks about eBay as algorithm as secrets and surprises, one little thing, and it can make a huge difference. That's why I'm always trying different things. Absolutely. Yep. And like I said, I was skeptical. I've had other people talk about this reset before on Facebook groups and you're skeptical because, you know, you don't know what is real and what is not, you know, what's conspiracy and what's, you know, real life. But uh, that happened to me. So I know it's real because me having three days out of a week with zero sales is has never happened. I, I, I was going to say it's unheard of. It never literally has never happened. So, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, absolutely can. Just make sure. Yeah, I had, trust me, body aches the whole deal. Yeah. Reseller, that's one thing about business actually stresses me out. You cannot miss days or shipping. Yep. You just can't. Can't do it. Now, trust me. And if I, that was any day, you know, I've been sick before doing this business and it's usually not a big deal, but that day, it was rough. It was, that's the roughest it's ever been. Packaging up just seven items. Whew. Oh, doggies. It was not fun. Uh, Mike, the maniac picker, starting to cross post over to Mercari, Mercari, whatever your predilection. Yeah. Good morning, Georgia picker. How's it going? Yep. Yes, it, it, it sucks, Anissa, but it's part of life. One of the few inevitable things in life is illness. <laughs> One of the very few. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, uh, Will in Ohio, Honda Hangouts. How's it going this morning? That's why Joe actually, you know, it's funny. Joe, the family flip says, sounds like your gut bacteria is out of balance. May need to get on some probiotics if not already. My wife and I talked about that exactly, Joe. We talked about that exactly. She said your your, your gut biology is probably changing because of the weight you've lost. And that's probably true. So, yeah, I need to check on that. Get some kombucha or something. I agree with that. Hey, Lauren, haven't seen you in a long time. No see, Lauren. Hot Chic Thrift, how's it going? Glad to see you back in here. <laughs> Candace, no crying in resale? Nope. Just a lot of whimpering. <laughs> and Mike, the Maniac picked this month has been bad in sales. Yeah, it has. It 100% has. What's funny is I look at my numbers year to year as well. And like last February, I did really well. This February, not so much. And of course, uh, sales... The past couple of days haven't been great, but obviously I didn't list anything Tuesday and Wednesday and I got back to listing yesterday. So part, part of that's my fault, but, uh, that previous stuff was not my fault. Something was going on with eBay, but, uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Caught back up with the, the chat here. A little chilly down here this morning. Not too bad. Um, yeah, everything continues as you can see our storage bins, Got the, you know, listing yesterday. Oh uh, yeah. People at Maria's people started getting their tax tax refunds. I haven't even, you know, I've got to get on my paperwork and get all that sent to my uh, CPA. I was going to do that this week, but obviously monkey wrench. <laughs> yeah. Piper John, I need to find a yogurt that is very, very low in sugar. I may just have to do like plain Greek yogurt, maybe with some fruit added or something because I don't want anything with any added sugar. 
the Georgia picker. Do you ever do the one penny sales at Dollar General? I haven't, but I, I saw that there was a lot of videos being spit, spit out about it. And I need to watch some of those. Obviously I haven't watched anything either. Cause I haven't done anything. Uh, the past few days, yesterday was a work day, of course, cause I was behind. And before that, I didn't you know watch anything. I was in bed, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Lauren shoveling more snow in Minnesota. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Lauren making my own yogurt. Yeah. And we do have Instapots. We have both. We have this, there's a smaller Instapot and we have the big one as well. So, uh, it's one of my favorite things to use. You know, I make all my own, you know, we don't, I don't do canned beans or anything. I make all my own beans and black beans and stuff. We really, I'm a big fan of making like my own, like, uh, bowls, kind of like a chipotle bowl, but I make it myself, you know, so I make my own black beans and rice and quinoa and I do all that stuff in the Instapot. So I may look into doing some yogurt. Joe, uh, morning. Okay, Joe, uh, it's pretty quick and easy. Um, I started with keto. It affected my kidney function, so I quit keto and went uh, intermittent fasting and no sugar or high fructose, corn, high fructose corn syrup. Pretty much, no. I mean, very, very, very low uh, sugar and high fructose corn syrup, and that's it no work no working out no anything uh strictly 18 or uh 16 8 intermittent fasting and no sugar that's it 55 pounds so well that's good serena says i found a new yogurt too good with the two grams of sugar that's pretty it's pretty low uh that's comparable to uh like you know i I like cereals, but obviously most breakfast cereals are, are just chock full of sugar, but you know, I don't, I'm not a fan of those sugary cereals anyway, but I eat just plain corn flakes, plain Cheerios and stuff like that. And those have about that one to two grams of sugar in them. That's why I can't say it's no sugar. It's just very, very, very low sugar. And I do a uh, unsweetened uh, vanilla almond milk. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Instapot is one of the better inventions. I know it's just a pressure cooker, but it makes everything easy. You know, it's a really, really great. I use it all the time. I use my Instapot probably two, three times a week. Let me see here. Yeah, Moronic Pest did the same thing. Lost 25 pounds just cutting out sugar over four months. Yep. And I'm telling you, I've read like peer reviewed studies, you know, there was this trend in the seventies and eighties that heart disease was because of fat and everybody, everything went low fat in the seventies and eighties heart disease is primarily because of sugar and there's peer reviewed studies to back that up. So yeah, it's not fat, it's sugar. <laughs> and look at that. Mo stopped keto because he's losing too much weight. Yeah. And keto works. It's just uh, something about my body makeup. It was affecting the uh, uh, my kidney function. My uh, potassium levels were going way high on keto, and that messes with your kidney function. So I had to stop it. So uh, yeah, because obviously you don't want to mess up your kidneys. <laughs> I'd rather be fat than have bad kidneys. You know. Let me see here. I know it's way off topic, but you know, we're about real life here, you know, just like being sick and how everything affects, you know, reselling and, uh, yeah. Woo. It jumped. There you go, Monty. That's awesome. Over a hundred pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of things feed on sugar. A lot of, uh, fungus is if you have problems with like you know athlete's foot jock itch and stuff a lot of that's sugar related as well yeah paleo my wife enjoys the paleo diet as well the real uh you know because she loves vegetables i mean and all vegetables so she loves paleo uh yeah she likes uh and actually she prefers mediterranean you know because she likes olives and it's all together you know but 
low sugar has been peripherally benefited her as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Will says Instapot is one of the best inventions in sliced bread. Yep. It makes things easy, you know. Makes things super easy. I got speaking of all that, I gotta decide what to make for dinner tonight. Or we may, I don't know, we may just go to Chewy's tonight. Some uh, about one Friday night a month we'll go to Chewy's. Everybody, anyone ever been to Chewy's? Uh, it's a you know, like a Tex Mex place and uh Friday nights, at least in my area, they have like a free uh little appetizer bar in their bar area. So we'll go hit that up on Friday nights. You know, my wife will have a margarita and we'll eat the, the breakfast, the little appetizer bar. It's pretty good actually. And, uh, let me see here. Serena says my chiropractor says that sugar is carcinogenic to our bodies and still have it in my hot tea. Yeah. Most people switch to honey for that reason. It's still a form of, sugar if you will but uh, honey is still natural a lot better for you and the real is correct sugar isn't everything bread ketchup sauces everything i finally found a bread that only had like two grams of sugar at costco and it's not that great honestly <laughs> as you can imagine <laughs> candace <laughs> taco bell <laughs> oh gosh and Monty's right, bread does turn into sugar. You know, carbs turn into sugar. Yeah. That's all right. Anissa just keep on serving up the veggies and either they'll eat it or starve. <laughs> I agree. Mo says, Mo says sugar is the devil. I agree. Cause I still crave it. I still have cravings, like especially on stressful days. I'm like, oh, I would just want a piece of cake or some ice cream or something, but you got to fight it, you know? Uh, I don't know if beer has sugar, but I know beer has a lot of carbs, but, uh, yeah. And carbs can turn into sugar, but other than that, I don't know. Yeah. I love Candace. I love Chewy. Yep. Yeah. She here. Oh, ciders definitely have sugar. Yep. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I've heard that, Lauren. Uh, light beers use corn syrup. That's a, There was that commercial with, I forget which company it was, calling out one of the other companies for using high, fru high fructose corn syrup in their beer. I can't even remember what it was. But, yeah, I really don't drink anyway. Every once in a while, you know, not that not that often. America is addicted to sugar. That's why diabetes is on the rise, people. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, there was that. It's just like all misinformation, you know, the war against drugs. Okay, it made it worse than ever. Uh, fat was the cause of heart disease. Yeah, heart disease is worse than ever because it wasn't fat at all. It was sugar. You know, it's all about, you know, how it's put out to the public. And most of the time it's wrong. So, yeah. Okay, so let's do our 922. Let's do our YouTube review. I haven't forgotten. Numbers are probably down because I missed so many videos this week, but that's part of it, part of life. Okay, so real time views the past 48 hours at 1,100. Not too bad, not too bad. The what sold video was hit pretty well. 654 views on the what sold video 169,490 watch minutes the past 28 days and that's down but that's probably an effect of me missing videos uh 12,415 views the past 28 days average view duration right in the you know 13 and a half minutes just like normal estimated revenue the past 28 days 84 dollars and seven cents that's the one people want to see most $84 and seven cents the past 28 days. And that holds pretty firm 75% ad revenue, 25% super chats. So thanks to everyone that does super chats.
63%, 63.4% of uh, watch time is from subscribers, 31.3% not subscribed. The uh, not subscribed freeloaders, the 30%. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> People can't take a joke. Uh, likes versus dislikes the past 28 days, 96.3%. And the top video the past 28 days, it's episode 76. 25 items that sold on eBay with 11,739 watch minutes. And the top three out of five are what sold videos. Episode 76, 80, and 78. And then number four and five are uh, these videos, the mid-morning videos. So, yeah. And that's it. That is our review. Let me see here. Scrolling back up to the chat a little bit. Good morning, Gate City Picker. How's it going? Land Shark hit 820 subs. Awesome. Only 180 to go to a thousand. That's awesome. I would, I mean, you can always link your channel in here, Craig, you know that, but I think everyone here has already subscribed to you. <laughs> I've given you about any, all the bump that I can, I believe. Um, so nowadays people are drinking their calories, carbs, and sugar, just switching to water makes a difference. Absolutely. Yep. I don't, I pretty much, the only thing I drink that has any calories anymore is V8. I do a low sodium, just a small can of low sodium V8 every day not a big can just one of those tiny cans so yeah let me see here i missed what you're talking about with gina and joe here i missed something Uh, yep, I missed something. That's all right. Hey, Cody, how's it going? Thank you for popping in. And, oh, my wife loves that too. And this is the LaCroix stuff. She drinks that every day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like Bob Ross of Riso. That's funny, Candace. Candace is one funny person, I'll tell you. Good morning, Brian. How's it going this morning? Ooh, sorry, chat's jumpy. Just trying to go through it. I know I missed some stuff, but that's okay. It happens. Oh, that's cool, Mo. I didn't know he had a different channel. Rocky Brook. <laughs> chicken fried steak i'm high sugar and low care at the moment i can get it and i understand like i said i still have my moments where i just all i want is sugar but uh it's been about two years now so i'm not gonna break it not gonna do it well that's awesome joe congratulations <laughs> that's my uh inventory system behind me maria maria that's why when something sells i know exactly where it's at so in a couple months we have our basically our, essentially our one year anniversary on youtube coming up at the end of april and that almost coincides with our hundredth episode. I consider an episode a haul video or a sold video. Um, so I'm kind of plumbing the old brain for ideas to maybe to do something special for that hundredth episode. But I don't know. It's I'm my creativity is checked out right now. Hey Danny, EMM. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yep. Oh, here's our. This is the third kitty. This is Mr. Model. This is Hobbs's brother, like a real brother from his uh, the same litter. This is Gatsby. And this is a handsome fella. He is purr and pooty. That's all three of them. You guys have seen all three of them today. I'm going to purr into the mic. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's fluffy though. His floof gets everywhere, or don't it? Doesn't it? Hmm? Yeah, we adopted him and Hobbs at the same time out of the same litter. And there was a few more, obviously, of their siblings, but we couldn't take them all. But we took two of them. And they are seven years old now. We got them when they were little kittens. I could hold both of them in one hand. So I guess it's a cat show today. So, but that's all three of the uh, the the cats. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Well, you know, at the end of the year, I didn't do it because it was going to take way too much time. But at the end of the year, I was thinking about going back to all the videos and just pulling out all of, like the best items that sold or maybe all the hundred dollar items that sold out of all the videos and doing a compilation. So maybe I could do something like that. It would be a lot of work, but you know, it's a hundredth episode. It deserves a little extra attention, a little extra work. <laughs> Brian says all his inventory is literally just in bags on his basement floor. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's easy to pick it out of there, isn't it? Good morning, Alabama Thrifter. Thank you for popping in. Yep, he was definitely a purr. <laughs> Less until you pass out today, Craig. Yeah, they all get along pretty well. Um, the brothers will kind of try to pick on Hemi, the big Gary cat, every once in a while, but it's minimal, you know. Just, I think they're mostly trying to play and him, he's not all about that. So it turns into a little kerfuffle every once in a while, but nothing too major. <laughs> yeah. Gatsby is, is a model kitty. He is a beautiful boy. <laughs> Don, two hip chicks. My unprocessed inventory is all over the bags on the floor as well yeah um yeah i get it that's the hardest part about being con in a confined space and doing this because i don't want to spend the money on storage space or a warehouse because it's a lot of money especially in our area i've talked about that before but for me to do anything i have to that's why i have everything on rollers all these bins you see behind me are on flat dollies i just roll them out of the way roll them out of the way and put them back in the way and it's a constant shuffle but that's the price i pay for not having to pay 500 to a thousand dollars a month in storage i mean uh, candace i'm excited about a pet toy warehouse sale tomorrow oh that's awesome yeah oh there's mr hobbs again your brother was just up here come on Oops. Oops. You can do it. You're just being lazy. Uh, good morning, Oshan. How's it going? Uh, Craig, I'm thinking of doing a set of videos. Each one will follow four items or so sourcing to listings. You know, I, I, when I first started my YouTube channel, Craig, I was thinking about doing a series like that and I was going to call it from sourced to sold. And, uh, I never followed through. 
<laughs> got too busy doing other stuff and it's a good idea, you know, but yeah, if you go walk back and watch like my first one or two or three videos, I talked about that, what I was going to do. I was like, I'm going to do this source to sold stuff. And, uh, yeah, I never did it. It's, you know, I was going to, just like you said, I was going to pick particular items and from, you know, when I bought them to cleaning them up, to listing them, to when they sold, to package them up for ship, shipping, I was going to do that. But, uh, yeah, but go for it, brother. You know, I think it's a good idea, obviously. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Brian hit the first garage sale of the season, fill it back for three bucks. Yeah. That's a good price. Yeah. No garage sales in our area yet either. It's, a bit, it's still pretty, pretty well winter weather here in Northern Virginia. Superstar. I'm gonna like wrestling the superstar, Jimmy Graham. We got superstar, Mr. Hobbs. <laughs> they're so funny yeah i'm looking forward to getting obviously garage sales are always great the garage sales in our area are kind of hit and miss you know because people just don't care but uh, estate sales are usually good and i'm looking forward to hitting some estate sales for sure this year more of them than i did last year i've always had you know i have good buys obviously from my haul videos and my sold videos we have good thrift stores and we have good buys there but uh, the estate sales are even better so i do need to get out to those alabama thrifter i think that doing a series like that will help you get to a thousand yeah absolutely and i'll say go for it craig now, i think i still have all the actually the photos and the footage from the one item that i did that was going to do that for, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm how, yeah, it's too late now. It's too late. I'm still working on a couple of ideas for, uh, this channel, but, um, I'll let everyone know, of course, when my new channel launches my, uh, Creek and river walking metal detecting artifact hunting channel when that launches, and, uh, that won't launch till the spring sometime. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, I got, like I said, sales were slow. Uh, one went out before the mail ran yesterday. So, and, uh, so I've only got two to package up this morning. So not too great, but like I said, I didn't list anything. Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's why, but, uh, yeah, got back to listing yesterday. Going to list today. Hope everyone else is going to get a lot of work done today. Appreciate everyone popping in. Obviously you can tell I still don't feel a hundred percent, but you know, 85, 90% is better than what I was. But I appreciate all you guys popping in, chiming in all your questions, comments. Appreciate my cats for filling time for me. <laughs> But yeah, thanks guys. Um, back to our normal, I, I still have all the stuff from the, what was going to be the haul video this week. And I guess I'm just going to combine the hauls this weekend. So it'll make it pretty big. So when we go out this weekend, the stuff we have from two weeks will be in one haul video. So it'll probably be a mega haul video. So, uh, yeah, so that should be pretty good because we got some decent stuff last week. I just, yeah, I couldn't do the video. <laughs> I guess I could have, but it had been like green face, sweaty. <laughs> that's okay but anyway thanks guys and uh yeah we will see you guys next monday with another live video so yeah thanks see you later